this like, is stuff that's in my book. And uh, but this little poem that um, was influenced by a poem by uh, Saroyan, Aram Saroyan. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a one word. Again, this might be a slot in my the novels we were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. F U C. U C K. It was a one word. Poem. Well, he did one L I G H G H T like. Uh huh. So I did fuck, <laughs> fuck cuck. And this is uh, a letter that I wrote to Leonard Wineglass, uh -huh. who was representing me while I was in the death house. Uh -huh. And I wrote this to him while he was representing the Chicago Eight with Abby Hoffman and all. Wow, what is it? And this wound up in the book. Uh, this drawing was, I believe, in the book. Mm -hmm. This was, this was the front cover. Yeah, this is the portrait and that's of Abby. Abby right? Hoffman, not uh -huh. me. Everybody thinks it's me, but as they say, all yippies look alike. <laughs> uh, now, this is a letter to Broge, Fogel, and Wineglass. Uh, law offices, L O R E, and that's you know I always used to use that because that's where Law and Lamb uh -huh. came in, and this was the shit in the pants story, which this is 1971. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even have any memory of this. It's just now I know that's before the book. So that so that story originated so as a letter. this is what. Obviously, and now I, I didn't remember this. Mm -hmm. uh, this was something I wrote to the lawyers representing me when I was on death row, mm -hmm. before I got off death row, um, and it wound up uh, as a, a major story. Right. That's, that was that was the one that everybody likes. Mm -hmm. uh, and Henry Miller, uh, when he did. Uh, years later, mm -hmm. to try to help me get out mm -hmm. in the chapbook, uh, he that was included in it, mm. uh, plus his uh, essay. There's, I can see there's other stories here uh -huh. as well, all in one long sentence. <laughs> that is probably about four stories, because uh -huh. uh, I saw th when I was in public school, 19, and the girls. Uh, caught me on the stairway, I was going up the down staircase, uh -huh. and they were coming down, uh -huh. and they were grabbing my dick, <laughs> and they wanted to make fucky, and I was getting red, and, you know, red in the face and all of that. <laughs> there are a number of stories in here that uh, I can't read them all because I want to go through the book. Right, right, right. Uh, this one, I don't think was in the book, I can't remember right now. And it, I know this wasn't in there. What is Clock, it? No song but a string of minets strung together and to and in the area of fiddle wood and diddled to. <laughs> and so this was in the book. These two things, uh, a swing swinging in my head. Mm -hmm. And the other one is Mary Ann's nipples. <laughs> Falling, rolling down the white marble stairs. The plunk right in the bucket. Fuck it. Uh, and this is to Sun. I don't know if I ever talked to you about her. That's the no. woman. I, after, I was on death row almost eight years, and she wrote to me. She was uh, oh an organizer, God, political me. organizer. Oh, uh -huh. oh, uh, I just and love time and crazy time. I never met her in the flesh at uh -huh. time because we can only write so many 50 page letters. I don't know what happened to wow. her. I, I just went crazy for her. And it was the first person that I really had stirred those emotions in me because I was a hardened revolutionist and, uh -huh. you know, only hell bent on revolution. And she just turned me on. And, um, uh, so I wrote her a lot of stuff, and I'm trying to see uh, if any of this stuff... Yeah, this was in the book, too. This was in the book, another mm -hmm. story that was in the book about the de death house mm -hmm. uh, and showering and walking for hours. Where was I going? I have to just 
and I have just, I was just a while ago walking for hours, but where was I going? And I have just been for a little while talking, and what did I get to? Nothing, nothing, nowhere, man, nothing, man. Uh, I used to write her stuff, I don't know, but she really, really, everybody thinks it was my wife. Uh -huh. She, My wife came after her. What, so what happened to her? Did you, did you keep in she, contact? She uh, was, there was a, a group called the Venceremos Brigade. Venceremos Brigade was trained in Cuba uh -huh. to foment revolution in the United States and she was a leader. Wow. And she was one of the persons in this group uh -huh. who was going to break me out of the death house. Wow. So they had I a... pleaded. That's where the 50 page letters started, I think. Uh -huh. Pleading with her. Because I was totally against what? How you can get me out of the death house without bombs and shootings and mm -hmm. everything, you know? She was serious. Right, right. And um, and finally I persuaded her to give that up, you know. Because they felt I could be a big revolutionary leader. From, right. Uh, where I came from, proletarian mm -hmm. background. Uh, Wasn't like, the, didn't the weather underground? No, the weather was underground later on. They dedicated a book to me uh -huh. uh, that they had written while they were underground. Wow. Um, I was one of the people. Do you have any copies of that laugh? You... I don't know. It's probably in, I don't even remember the name of the book. See, it was very disquieting to me. I was like getting out there, mm -hmm. but it's because I was a revolutionist and I was organizing in the prison and being very successful mm -hmm. at it and word was outside on me. But I was nonviolent, and I was doing it nonviolently, mm -hmm. and I knew it worked. If I could do it in a prison, mm -hmm. you know, America's a prison, and you want to have revolution, you know, uh, you don't need violence. It's antithetical to change. Mm -hmm. I really, I mean, to this day, I mean, that's my strongest belief, mm -hmm. you know. And so it was very disquieting to me to have people who were bombing and who were into violent overthrow right. mm -hmm. um, liking me, you know. Mm -hmm. But they 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 like they knew I was not violent. Right. And they didn't try to persuade me to violence. Mm -hmm. That's the good thing. I think it was just that they liked the idea that I changed mm -hmm. and that I would because there were so many others like me and I right. could influence others, mm -hmm. get them away from that vicious cycle right. of poverty, prison, and death. Uh -huh. You know, did you ever did you know any Panthers in prison? And was uh, there any? I knew Black Liberation Army. Uh huh. Oh yeah, right. some great friends. I, of mine. Yeah, they I, were. I they were told cool. the stories. They they were told. You know, you're a good person. They're just like you, bro. Mm -hmm. I just wonderful and uh, except they had um, just this burning desire to overthrow the government. They were all brilliant mm -hmm. minds, and uh, but they believed in uh, um, a violent overthrow. Mm -hmm. But Mao Zedong had put out a book that circulated all over the world that revolutionists. Would quote the, you know, it was Nazi Tung's little red book. Yeah, the book. little red book. And right. in there, political power mm -hmm. goes out of the barrel of a gun. Mm -hmm. And they believe that, mm -hmm. you know. And it's very, very easy to be persuaded by that mm -hmm. when you're being oppressed. Yeah.